Grammar 4, Chapter 15, Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 2. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to use gerunds or passive infinitives following need. Recognize verbs of perception. Identify the simple form after let and help. And recognize causative verbs such as make, have, and get. Usually an infinitive follows needs. For example, I need to borrow some money. Ahmed needs to be told the truth. In certain circumstances, a gerund may follow a need. In this case, the gerund carries a passive meaning. Usually the situation involves fixing or improving something. For example, the house needs painting. The house needs to be painted. Continuing on with using verbs of perception. Certain verbs of perception are followed by either the simple form or ing form of a verb. There is often little difference in the meaning between the two forms, except that the ing form usually gives the idea of while. For example, I saw my brother run down the hallway. I saw my brother running down the hallway. I heard the birds chirp on the roof. I heard the birds chirping on the roof. Sometimes, not always, there is a clear difference between using the simple form or the ing form. The use of the ing form gives the idea that an activity is already in progress when it is perceived. Let's take a look at a few examples. For example, when I walked into the house, I heard my friend cleaning in the kitchen. I heard a famous imam speak at the mosque last Friday, using the simple form after let and help. Let is followed by the simple form of a verb, not an infinitive. For example, my father lets me drive his car. I let my friend borrow my bicycle. Let's go to a movie. Incorrect. My father lets me to drive his car. Help is often followed by the simple form of a verb. For example, my brother helped me wash my car. Using an infinitive after help is also possible. For example, my brother helped me to wash my car.